All right, welcome back, you absolute stellar legends. So in today's video, we are going to be talking Boot, the Nintendo Switch, and more importantly, the reason why I decided to make the Switch from PlayStation and Xbox and go PlayStation 5 and Nintendo. A little bit of a backstory, so I'm a lifelong uh, Super Mario fan. I grew up playing the Mario games. Super Mario Sunshine was my favorite 3D Super Mario game. Super Mario World was my favorite Super Mario game. Mario Land 1 and 2 were my favorite portable Mario games. So once I started working, I stopped playing Nintendo and I switched to the more mature consoles, which were the PlayStation 1 and the Xbox. Xbox. That massive 10 pound console that had a warning, careful not to place the Xbox on edges of tables because it's heavy enough to cru crush a small infant. I remember reading that in the instruction book. So all these years, every time a new PlayStation came out, PlayStation uh, 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5, I would get the latest consoles. Same thing for the Xbox as well. So Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and then Xbox Series X. I got all the, the high-end consoles because they were great consoles and I very much enjoyed them. Last last year, I decided I had enough with Microsoft and uh, especially uh, Xbox with the way they were treating fans and the quality of the games they were releasing. I got very, very fed up with how Xbox was treating the, uh, the, the player base. So I decided I was gonna patient out whatever games were coming out. If the games were good, I was going to continue with it, and I also had Game Pass. So I was growing more and more disillusioned with Xbox as the as time was going, and then Redfall came out, and it was a complete disaster, a complete disappointment. And I was like, all right, I'm going to give Xbox one last try, and we'll see how it goes with Starfield. And then Starfield came out, and I just said, okay, no, you know what, I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm not buying any more games for the Xbox. I'm going to keep my Game Pass at most. And then in December, I decided to buy the Nintendo Switch. They had a promo that included the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Great game. And then from then on, I bought, I have a total now of a good 12 or 13 games these are all the physical games i have so super mario rpg the super mario 3d collection luigi's mansion 3 yoshi's crafted world i love yoshi's crafted world i will be getting the princess peach game don't you worry <laughs> bayonetta 3 metroid prime remastered sorry bayonetta 2 bayonetta 3 mario kart 8 deluxe and Super Mario Odyssey. And then I have a couple of uh, digital games, the Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury and one more. And I'll be honest with you, man, like it's it's really interesting. I don't know what it is about, especially in Mario games, like Mario branded games, like the official Nintendo games. They just feel good playing. Like they make you feel like, they kind of make you feel happy, like actually playing the games. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the nostalgia that automatically kicks in because I'm revisiting like my childhood and the games that I, I grew up with, with the franchise. I grew up with Super Mario. And even though the games don't drop in price, I have no problem picking up whatever new game comes out, especially if it's a Mario uh, brand. I haven't purchased the Thousand Year Door I'm not really interested in that one. It doesn't really speak to me. 
but whatever does speak to me, I will be getting. Uh, one of the next purchases I'm going to make is also going to be Super Mario Wonder. So the other reason why I bought it is because my nieces are growing up. Lily is 10 years old. She's going to be 11 in October. Iris is turning, holy smoke, she's turning seven <laughs> in, wow, in about a month at the end of uh, July. So I thought it would also be a great, you know, we already are close. I thought it would be a great bonding experience getting the girls to play the Nintendo Switch games with me. They've played so far the Yoshi's Crafted World. They played Princess Peach Showtime, the demo, but don't worry about that. They've played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They very much enjoyed it. Lily loves playing with uh, Rosalina, which, whichever one is the blonde one with the blue uh, turquoise dress. Iris loves Pokemon and uh, Pikachu <laughs> and Kirby, actually. She loves Kirby. So I, I bought that for, uh, for them to play whenever they, uh, whenever they come over. Get them started in gaming, having fun. So the girls' uh, YouTube channel is Lily and Iris Sister Reviews for Kids. Here's their channel, here's the name of it, check them out, they're almost at 50 subscribers, they would appreciate getting 250 subscribers, and maybe even 100 subscribers, so get your kids to check out the girl's channel. And uh, honestly man, like, I, I, I play, I, I've turned on my Xbox three times this year, once to check the latest update of Redfall, then to check the latest update on uh, what's called Starfield. Again, neither of them impressed me. Apparently there's a new update for Starfield. I'll check that out at some point, but I'm not really interested anymore. Uh, and then the last time I turned it on was to play the launch day for Senua's Sacrifice. I thought that was actually a pretty decent game. Senua Hellblade 2. But uh, I'm playing a lot more of my Nintendo Switch games, then I'm playing Xbox, and I'm playing surprisingly fewer PlayStation <laughs> games compared to my Nintendo Switch. So guys, stay tuned, bookmark the channel, keep coming back, there's going to be a lot of Nintendo Switch videos. So much stuff, man, so much stuff. So I appreciate you guys giving me some of your time today. As always, stay stellar, come back for more videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Jigga, Vega, out. All right. Later, guys. Obey me, Wario. Destroy Mario. Love that commercial.